I I don't ever want to limit myself because like what I've experienced in my own life, like I've exceeded the possibilities I've even like set for myself. Like this whole thing of like even like what I was saying with the ACL and like how my first job I booked was J Lo after my ACL tear. I would have never thought in a million years like God was like, Hey, um, your first job ever is gonna be J Lo, like after your ACL tear. What? But that, like, if I would have limited my belief and been like, oh, um, that's not going to happen, da 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 instead of just expanding and allowing things to happen, then I feel like that the universe would have never brought that. Yeah. But I feel like... And you like, probably maybe didn't, wouldn't have worked as hard either to get yeah, back. Yeah, exactly. That too. Because I definitely know I worked definitely hard, but I feel like what I love about myself is I feel like anyone that's around me or that's going to be around me or surrounds me in my circle, da 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 I'm going to make them believe in themselves 10 times more than they already do. Yeah. That I do know about myself. And I'm going to, because I'm going to know and be like, okay, first of all, take out all the limiting beliefs. Like you're saying, I can't do this because of money. I can't do that. Fuck all of that. What do you want to do and make that happen? Like, Mm -hmm. it's like, you're going to do like whatever you really, really want. You're always going to make it happen. And I think I, I grew up knowing that because I, I always made things happen. Like, even if I was like, I don't know how I'm going to make it happen, but I'm going to make it happen. I always made it happen. So it's like, it's going to happen. And you, as long as you say it constantly and constantly and you're working and you're meeting halfway with like the universe as well as your hard work, it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. So. I yeah. love that. No, I agree <laughs> with that 100%. Um, I mean, some of these topics kind of keep coming up even these first three episodes. of Yeah. That's kind of what I was relating it back to is the, even just you three, the first three people I've I've talked to, the the um, similarities in how you all think, mm-hmm. and, and it's similar to how I think as well. Approach is a little different one way or the other, but like manifestation or prayer or whatever, um, that's kind of how I go after my shit. Is like okay, you can call it manifestation, what a manifestation. Um, I guess I'd probably say that's what it is, but like I just believe it's possible. No, yeah. And then just, okay, make choices and put that, move you in that direction. Put in energy and effort and work towards that direction. Yeah. And then just don't fucking stop. Keep going and actually like give it a legitimate, hard work effort. And you'll probably get further than you think. If you're thinking of like, you're saying limiting Mm -hmm. yourself. Um, Maybe you won't even get there. But you'll get fucking close. Exactly. Or you'll figure something else out. Oh, mm -hmm. I actually want this. And it'll be potentially better. Like, you don't fucking know. Because at the end of the day, the only reason you limit yourself is because you don't think you're worthy enough. You don't think you're worthy enough? Or you, even for myself, like, I think like that, but I still have fear. Yeah. At times, I'll have to check myself, and I'll still say, like, damn, I'm just kind of being scared. I'm just holding back because I'm being scared. Yeah, or I'm procrastinating because exactly. I'm, I'm nervous this won't work out or whatever. And then it's just like, But it's just, I think it's, yeah, just Just one saying fuck it, that's a huge thing, just being like, fuck it. And like, also, I think what we were saying before, if you don't try, you're failing more if you don't try. There's nothing, like, if the only way you're going to lose is if you don't try. Exactly. But if you try, at least at the end of the day, you could be like, well, at least I tried. And if even if you fail, if you try. I, and what You'll something know. Gary Vee, <laughs> I saw this from a Gary Vee thing. I'm is a like, big follower. The, if you fail, the faster you fail, the faster you'll succeed. So That's like a the fa- yeah, the he's a fucking genius <laughs> in that so in that aspect. The of faster like going you for fail shit. in everything, literally in everything, you're like, damn, that didn't work. Da, 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 da. That just gets you faster to knowing what works for you to succeed. Yeah. So it's like taking all those failures and being like, those failures are your building blocks to be like, oh, this well, is it. Like yeah. you know what I mean. And this works. That didn't work. Yeah, exactly. That's perfect. So it's like the literally the like faster you fail is like the faster you're just going to succeed. So keep going. So that's yeah. why getting up, fa- failing nine times but getting up ten times is like that's what's gonna like that. keep you there. You got that Rocky Balboa. Work. Yeah. I wish I could, <laughs> I wish I could pull that uh quote right off the top of my head, but I can. But it's it's around the mm-hmm. same as what you're saying there. But yeah, and even if you fail. And you decide to walk away from it. You always know you tried and you failed and you decided to move on. It's not the regret exactly. of I never tried, coulda, woulda, shoulda. Um, and then just feeling probably like the sadness or whatever, exactly. that, whatever that emotion is yeah. for the rest of your life. You're just like, fuck, I, I don't know. Yeah. Instead, you're like, no, I know. 
either I tried and it, I didn't want it as much as I thought I did. So exactly. I decided to walk away yep. or no, I kept doing it and mm-hmm. whatever happened, happened. Mm-hmm. You could have succeeded. You could have changed your mind on the line or took something else as an opportunity, mm-hmm. but you fucking know you played it out. Mm-hmm. I don't know. That's how I look at it. But yeah, it's just, it's really cool to hear you, um, hear that you think like that. And again, that's the people that you're, t- you're talking about your circle who I'm trying to surround myself with. I feel like you're one of those people. I'm like, what? Uh, <laughs> like, I uh, really appreciate you saying that. Yeah. Like, cause that that's that's how I think, um, and that's how I'm going after my life at this point, obviously. And I haven't always thought like that. I haven't always been like that, or been bold enough to even just even if I thought like that to actually make the actions or, in um, the line the step lane into of the that. light of it. Yeah. Like yeah. I think like that in the past. I've thought like that. Like that's I think that's true, but then hadn't actually. Uh, made the decisions to mm-hmm. put myself following that ideology i think one thing i've learned in this quarantine is step into your greatness yeah yeah and that's like um but i think with all of that is just also just stepping into like you as like who you are but to do that you have to be honest with yourself mm-hmm. and like that's why i think i just think uh, i what i found is i think honesty is key to everything like yeah. key to unlocking all of your purpose your success and so many people are like, oh, what's like your one purpose? You have a purpose every single day. Like maybe my purpose today is like I gave $10 to somebody on the street, but that my purpose was to allow them to eat. Mm-hmm. My purpose to hearing this conversation on the phone with my friend, my purpose was to help them get out of a situation that they felt like they were so stuck in. Mm. Like that was my purpose for the day. So you think so every day like there's a new every purpose? Every day you have a different purpose and it's to embrace that. And it's like, God, like what I say, like when I wake up, I'm like, God, thank you so much for waking me up today. I'm so incredibly excited to live in my purpose for today, whatever that may be. Please use me in my purpose today. Like, and I'm th- I'm just thankful, like, because yeah. it's like every day is like it's not guaranteed, but the d- the w- you're waking up for some sort of purpose in every single day. So like, even even for today, the purpose today like is like yes, we're to talking and sharing, but like at the end of the day, what if this talking and sharing is helping somebody on the other side? Being yeah. like, wow, because I know I've listened to podcasts that literally has changed my life, and like I hope so. where I've like been so depressed, and I listened to a podcast, and I'm like, that literally changed my entire life. Like it's like things like that could happen. Yeah. So it's just like you have a purpose every single day without even realizing it. So just knowing that embracing that waking up to that and walking into that greatness and knowing that your light is needed in every single day and every single day in this world is yeah and it's great to see people believing that and living it both of you like Mm. you're both young people we're all young people Mm. you're believing that and you're directing your life in that direction or with that ideology and you're totally okay you're both alive you're both surviving it seems like you're both happy as fuck (laughs) <laughs> or at least at the moment but like <laughs> <laughs> i mean so, he told me the other day he was like i've never been this sad uh, <laughs> she's blowing you up <laughs> <laughs> oh, <fuck it>. <laughs> <laughs> but it's me like i think people i think people again i'm not very old either so I'm not a fucking expert, but I think people get scared of of going after shit that they believe, like dream wise or mm-hmm. dream career wise, and, and it's the what ifs if you fail, this and that, and um, you're looking at two people right here who are doing going after that, and they're surviving <laughs> completely fine. <laughs> just fucking go after it, like just do it. Yeah. Um, and I know that's the fucking Nike tagline, just do it. So it sounds cheesy it's as so fuck, true, but it always so comes into true. my head. Like yeah. just do it because it's like. Even if it fails, just fucking do it. Like, yeah. it's like, you, gotta put fuck you in have, there. you li- <laughs> exactly, just fucking do it. Like, you have nothing to lose, yeah. like, unless, but if you do it, you have, you have everything to gain if you try as opposed to, like, not, Yeah. you know? And like we said, if it, if it doesn't work out, then you can move on. Mm-hmm either positive and or negative like whatever direction you know one thing exactly like what you're saying yeah. being honest with your relationship mm-hmm. you know the truth mm-hmm. it exactly. was gonna work out or it wasn't gonna work out and i figured it out so now i need to go this way or that yeah way. exactly and i think um one thing um my my mentor s- said this to me and it always keeps me going anytime I, I guess i like doubt myself in yeah any situation of like just believing in myself is um you have everything to share and nothing to prove 
Just you saying remind you he said or she said to remind yourself yeah. of that. Yeah. Or like that was like I remember it was like our senior show, like graduating for AMDA and like mm-hmm. that was one thing he said. He said, You have everything to share, nothing to prove and that just like really kept me like, Whoa, 